There's some beef out there, Will. There's, There's some beef? Between your boy <laughs> Nate Diaz and Dustin Poirier. I should have worn my Nate Diaz shirt. You should. <laughs> Represent, <laughs> dude. I know. I mean, all right. So we have this back and forth. Where they, when were they supposed <laughs> to fight? By the way, do you remember? They were supposed to fight a long time ago. I don't remember how long. It was like years ago. And what was it? Was it? After, like, uh, did Nate get hurt? Dustin got no, hurt. Some, Dustin got hurt. Dustin he, got hurt. got his rib or something like that. He had to. He, he couldn't get medically cleared. Or he had to pull out. He got injured. Uh, and Nate was like, "All right, cool. That's a win then." <laughs> yeah, and and so, I mean, they've started up again. Who was it that started mm-hmm. this beef recently? Was it Dustin? Was it Nate? Look like Dustin's uh, one that called him out, kind of. He said like Nathan question mark something, right? The old what? Darren Till, when Darren Till was trying to get a Robert Whitaker fight, he'd always just be like Rob. <laughs> That's what it was, right? I said just that Nathan question mark. So Nathan yeah, yeah. says, "Boss the fuck up and quit being a little bitch." I do what I want. You do what you're told. Well, that's the last thing that he said. Okay. That well, was then, the end of it. Uh, Dustin, they're lying and you're getting played. I knew you were a bitch. Well, so, first, so, so Dustin says Nathan, right? So obviously there's something maybe he wants to angle towards that fight. Maybe there's some behind the scenes stuff. Nate says, uh, I knew I knew you was a pussy, a pussy bitch. That's 2-0. Basically saying that they were trying to work out the fight. And Dustin didn't take it, right? Yeah. Then Dustin's saying they're lying and you're getting played because he's probably like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The UFC is probably just pulling some bullshit over you saying that Dustin doesn't want it or Dustin reneged or something like that. And so Nate's like, oh, you're a bitch. You pulled out. Could just be the UFC being an asshole and telling one side one thing and the other side another. And Could that's be the UFC Nathan- really want, wanting Dustin to fight for the title. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you know? Probably. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I could see both sides here. I could see the UFC saying, like, hey, man, like, you're the number one contender. You've been the number one contender for a minute now. We need to see you fight for this title. But I could also see. You're already supposed to fight Oliveira the first time. Yeah. And it didn't happen. But I could also see Dustin, you know, at a certain point in his career, probably thinking, how, how much does that title really mean to me right now? And maybe I just want another big payday. I think it's not even just how much does it mean to me. I think it's more of this is a fight. And I'm a massive Nate Diaz fan. It's a very winnable fight. At this point of their careers, it's a very winnable fight for Dustin. And he can say, I mean, it's the same thing with the Connor rematch, the third one. He's saying, because they're, they're supposed to do the vacant belt, Dustin versus Oliveira. Dustin says, give that to Chandler. Let Chandler fight Oliveira. I want to fight Connor again because... This is a very winnable fight. I'm going to make a shit ton of money. When I beat Connor, that title's not going anywhere. If I beat Connor, yeah. I'm just going to fight for the belt after that, once, after I make all my money. Then this starts kind of rising up, and it's probably the same line of thinking from Dustin's side. I think it's a tougher fight than him versus than Connor, but I think uh, Still he's probably fight. thinking, yeah, a very winnable fight, right? If it happens at 170, because neither of them want to cut weight, and it'll be a lightweight fight at 170, um, or if they fight at 155. I think Nate, when he gets in real good shape for 155, I think he's that's where his that's where he can still beat a lot of people, in my opinion. I know he's older in the fight game and he's taking a lot of damage, all that shit, but that's where I think his skill set really comes into play. Um, but from Dustin's mindset, he's probably thinking this is a winnable fight for me. If I win this, it's going to make me a bunch of money because everyone's going to want to watch Nate Diaz. Then I'll go fight for the belt. The belt's not going anywhere. And as long as he doesn't lose, he's not losing that number one ranking. You know. And think about the popularity that Dustin has gained from fighting McGregor, mm-hmm. uh, especially for the newer fans. And think about the yeah. popularity that's going to continue to grow for Dustin fighting mm-hmm. a Nate Diaz and possibly beating a Nate Diaz. So he yeah. will now be and- able to fight for the belt after beating McGregor twice, beating a Nate Diaz, mm-hmm. popularity is a lot higher. You might be able to get a little more money that way going forward. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I mean, and let's be real, this is probably a much better fight. Dustin versus Nate, when they first announced it back in the day, I was like, oh, shit. Because yeah. that was when Nate was like, I'm trying to stay active. I'm trying to be on this roll and was like winning fights again. And it was, fuck, I wish it happened. Hey, let me play this out for you, though. Let me play this mm-hmm. out for you. Say Dustin fights Nate. Yeah. Five round fight, right? Mm-hmm. It's uh, 
five, fifth round, beginning of the fifth round. Nate, a la Nate, bleeding all over yeah. his face, catches <laughs> Dustin with a big right, drops Dustin, catches him in a guillotine or something, wins. Mm-hmm. Now we have possibly Nate Diaz yeah, fighting for the title. Dude, on the, honestly, Nate Diaz versus the Bronx is such a cool fucking fight. <laughs> and that's the thing we Let, both said. Yeah. I that mean, we love Dustin. Yeah. But we also are big Nate Diaz fans. And that would yeah. be insane. It would be crazy. And I mean, it, if you beat, at this point, if you beat Dustin, how can anybody, you might be able to say, well, he wasn't in the rankings and, and he didn't rise up through him and win a bunch of fights. No, no, no. He beat the number if one you, contender. If you beat Dustin, you're fighting for the belt. Let's you be have to. If Dustin you should probably him, have the belt right now. Yeah. No no disrespect to Oliveira. Dustin, I think in a lot of people's opinion, is probably like the uncrowned champ right now. Mm-hmm. Um, that, but, so, and I think I that's how Dustin that feels right now too. Yeah. You know, I, I think he feels like the uncrowned champ. And I think he said mm-hmm. it in a few interviews before that he's the uncrowned champ. And, you know, that's yeah. probably why he's like, you know what? The, like you said, the bell will always be there. I'm the uncrowned champ right now. Let me just fucking make some money. Yeah. Why not? Exactly. Mm-hmm. Why not? By the way, Oliveira, you've seen the uh, the messages going back and forth when somebody mentions the Cowboy versus Oliveira fight. And somebody is like, oh, it was an yeah. early stoppage. And uh, Oliveira's yeah. reply, no, he kicked my ass. Yeah, he said uh, early stoppage. No, he kicked my ass. And then someone said it's okay, Ch- it's okay, Charlino. Uh, you had too much wine the night before. <laughs> and then he said, "LOL, I don't drink. I just faced a better fighter than me that night." Damn, man. Yeah. Hey, they, they don't make him like that anymore. You know, He's a champion, man. He's a champion. Yeah. So hard not to like that guy, too. Yeah. All right. Anything else on the Nate Dustin beef? No, not really. Not really. Oh, is that is that O'Malley on on your shirt, Sean Sh- Sugar Show? Is that what it is? It's a sugar Show right there, dude. Well, that's a perfect segue. I just had to stretch. <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> so O'Malley. Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap uh the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here uh don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have uh and don't forget to tune in live every sunday morning at 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern uh and you can join in on the fun yeah don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell goes a long way all right everybody thanks for watching that short clip from story of the fight